This intercession is taking place in the graveyard of St. Lawrence Church, High Pittington, in County Durham, England. And the significance is that it was at this church that a, a body came from Monk Wearmouth. And a body who is mentioned as being in uh, the Welsh Revival, having gone there at that time in 1904. And it is a body who was very much involved with bringing the baptism in the Holy Ghost to, to England by his association with a pastor from Norway. And we are so grateful for this, that this man who at that time of the coming of the Holy Ghost did not receive the Holy Ghost himself, yet he set up tarry meetings for those to receive the baptism, their own baptism in the Holy Ghost and with fire. The scriptures to be used are Leviticus chapter 17 and the 11th verse. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is in the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. And then from Hebrews chapter 10 and the 19th verse. Having therefore brethren boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank thee for being able to come to this church of St. Lawrence Higher Pittington and to remember that thy servant, a, a body, had given his life wholly to thyself, that he given his life to be used for thy glory and for thy glory alone, that he was a man who, who was used to introduce the baptism of the Holy Ghost into England. And also, he started the Confidence magazine, that wonderful, wonderful magazine, which started in April 1908 and finished in 1926, only being published when there were sufficient funds to be able to do a print run. Yet that magazine greatly used and greatly blessed of yourself because it was involved with bringing forth such wonderful messages about the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, that separation unto holiness, that separation of life, that life filled with the very life of God. And it is with grateful thanks that in his day both a body and his wife were used specifically by thyself to deepen the work of God, to bring in the higher life, the life of holiness, the life of separation, the life of the living God living his life in and through the cleansed and sanctified body of the believer. And it is with the baptism in the Holy Ghost that comes the rivers of living water, the very life of the Spirit of God, filled with, with the life which is the holy life of God, the pure life of God, the righteous life of God, and the life which is filled with the power 
and the authority and the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire to burn out all impurity, all that is not in the sight of a holy God, being pure and holy and righteous. Now what for men like A.A. Body today, and women like his wife, those who sought God for himself, who gave their lives wholly to God, and because they had laid their lives on the altar for God. You were able to use them, and use them not for anything which was the pleasing of themselves, but in humbleness of heart, and complete dedication to yourself, that you were able to use them to touch the lives of many, many throughout the whole of the United Kingdom and lives were transformed, lives were called unto thyself, filled with thyself, and lives which would be used by thyself to take the message of redemption, the message of sanctification, the message of the life, the inner life of the Holy Ghost within the life of the believer, right through the United Kingdom and beyond the shores of the United Kingdom, that uh, lives which would take the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, even to the uttermost parts of the earth, lives which were given for the deeper life, the holy life, lived out only for the glory of God, through the filling of the Holy Ghost, the very life of the Lord Jesus Christ, in all its holiness, purity, and righteousness. And thank Thee, O Father, that I have that confidence that You will do the same in these days, as You separate unto Yourself a people, a people of God, to live for thyself alone and for thy glory. This is done through thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and for thy glory and glory alone, that the Father shall be glorified and is glorified through the Son. Amen.